How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here and today I'm going to be giving you guys a Battle Boots guide. And uh, here are the timestamps if you want to skip the basics. Otherwise, let's get into it. Neutralite, the most basic Battle Boots attack. Check out the controller on the bottom to see which buttons I'm using. This is what a Neutralite looks like when you hit it. Side light. Notice how I kick twice when I don't hit with the side light. Notice how I hit three times when I hit with the side light. Very nice. Down light. Down light is kind of like a sword down light. It pops them up when you hit them. Neutral air. This is doing a light attack without any directional input in the air. Recovery. Recovery is doing a heavy attack while in the air. Ground pound. This is what it looks like when you use a ground pound. You can release it very quickly like this. Or you can hold it as long as you want, like this, all the way down. Well, as far as you want to go, really. The ground pound on Battle Boots is also slightly steerable. So long as you're steering it forward, anyways. Although, sometimes it likes to release the kick while you're trying to steer it. For example, here is a slow down. Look at the controller. I'm going to hold the button and down. And I'm moving the stick slightly over to steer it. And as you can see, it released the kick automatically. I did not release the button. So just practice the ground pound a little bit and you'll get a hang for how it steers and how it releases. The down air. The down air is kind of cool. It has two different variations. You can hold down like this, which spikes through the enemy. Or you can hold and release down air before you hit the enemy. Look at the controller to see what I mean. I'm releasing before I hit each time and you just kind of bounce off instead. Side air. Side air is basically a side light in the air. This move has two variations, side air hold and side air release. These are the holds. The first ones I did were released. As you can see, a side air hold pushes the enemy a lot farther. Now for the signatures, we have neutral signature. This one jumps high into the air and then spikes the opponent downwards. This is what it looks like on hit. It can be good to do a dodge read or a reaction read. Side sig. This is just a good old fashioned heavy hit to the side. Nothing too fancy, a good fast finisher. Down sig. Down sig is probably one of the coolest moves on Battle Boots. It has two different variations on hit. You can hold down and that will do a spin and then a spike, or you can just do a down sig and release without holding down and then he'll fling him backwards in the opposite direction. So down sig holding, combo with the down sig holding, and then down sig release. Both are actually fun. Do you remember the startup animations? We have side sig, down sig, and neutral sig. Remember these and remember how it looks because you're only gonna have a split second to react.
All right, let's, let's uh, set the bot to a random dodge react. This is really important because it will give you a good idea of what you should be looking for when you're playing battle boots because let's be honest, your opponent's not just going to sit there most of the time, they're going to dodge. And if you put the dodge to random on the training bot, it just really helps prepare your mind. So just practice doing all the strings, then practice doing all the strings with dodge react on random. We're just gonna do this for a little bit and then I'm gonna show you guys a 1v1 game with battle boots and a 2v2 game with battle boots against good opponents. Three, two, one, roll. All right, let's put all that knowledge and practice to use, <laughs> hopefully, and uh, get a win. Now, I'm not very practiced with Tezka. Uh, obviously, in a regular match, we're not just going to be using Battle Boots. I'll use Gauntlets as well, probably at some point. That's a nice little string. Going against the Zuri's... Ooh, we almost died there. Oh, no, he, he died. Wow. Uh, going against the Zuri is tough just because the Zuri is really fast with the Katars and Sword, but... Hopefully... Uh, oops, face the wrong way. I'm still learning with battle boots as well. So like, even though I made this guide, it's just enough to get you guys started. But really you have to practice and practice and practice to get good with a weapon. The more you play, the better you'll get. It's just how it is. So don't feel bad if it's really strange or uncomfortable. Ooh -hoo -hoo! We got that neutral sig. I love how it spikes down like that. But yeah, like the first five or to 10 games, I was so awkward with battle boots, but now that I'm like level 12, 13 with Tezka, making my way, you know, to level 25 so I can get black colors, I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident with him. And I think by the time I get to level 25, you know, I'll, I'll be fine with with battle boots. I'll have a pretty good idea of how to how to play them. Are they my favorite weapon? Uh, no, but they are still pretty fun. Oh, that gauntlet neutral sig almost killed him there. We're actually looking at a three stock right here. Unfortunately, the neutral sig on battle boots doesn't kill very easily if you're on the stage, only if you're off. Like right there, if I could have spiked him on that platform, it would have been game. But yeah, uh, this game is pretty much over. I don't, yep. GG dude, GG. All right, this is a 2v2 game that I played with my friend Raph. Uh, these are, good opponents. I don't know what rank they are, but Wrath is like a Valhalla rank and I'm Diamond, so we usually get really good opponents, but going against Rayman and Mordex, two of the, uh, you know, what what's considered to be two of the best legends in the game, so Wraith is using uh, Zul, which I actually like Zul a lot. I, I was learning Cannon right before I started uh, learning Battle Boots. <laughs> I was like learning cannon, just starting to get good with cannon, and then battle boots came out. Now all I'm doing is playing battle boots. Oh, we got that down sig, and he still got back somehow. Again with the down sig, and he's still alive. How? I don't really play two v two that often. Only like if my friends want to play with me, but typically I'm more of a one v one player, so I don't usually do that well in two v two, but. It's good practice anyways, and it's good fun. Honestly, if you just want to practice with battle boots without so much pressure to win, I would just play free for all. A lot of people look down on it, but it's actually a great way to practice without like caring that much. Cause you can just, everybody's an enemy. You don't have to worry about your teammate and it's not a 1v1. So you don't have that like high stress situation, I guess. Preferably I like 1v1s, but just for learning a weapon, free-for-all is amazing. For real, just play like 10 games of free-for-all and you will then go play a 1v1 and you're gonna see, it makes a big difference. Using a little bit of gauntlets here. I know you guys are here for the battle boots, but Tuska gauntlets are really good. The gauntlet down sig is really, really useful. The neutral sig is so fast and strong. Okay, I got wrecked right there. And even the gauntlet side sig is really good. And if, in, in situations like 2v2 or free-for-all, if you grab with the gauntlet side sig and swing around the enemy while you're doing it, it 
hits everybody else too, which is awesome. All right, this poor Rayman is just trying to hang on for dear life. And that's game. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this Battle Boots guide. If you did, drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. As always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy, friends.